what you preachers are doing today mm -hmm. and what you people are doing, you go to the arms of some old false prophet <laughs> who pray over you in a pool of water. Yeah. And then lie. I therefore baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. And he take you down and bring you up. Listen, before you get out that water, tell him, listen, hey, Bishop, Bishop, Bishop. <laughs> you said you're going to baptize me in the name right. of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. But I never heard you call that name That's right. of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. So, Bishop. Please say what that name is. That's it. Of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. That's right. Otherwise than that, he'll take you down, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, bring you up. You got titles. You ain't got no name. That's right. All of you that been baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, and that's what the preacher said over you, you ain't baptized. No. You ain't never obeyed Jesus. No. All you got to do is read the word of God, and we all know that the apostles obeyed Jesus. That's right. Because Jesus told them to do what? Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Talking to his apostles. Baptizing them. Told them, go ye therefore. And teach all nations. Teach everybody. Baptizing them in the name. Baptizing them, thank God, in the name. Of the Father. Of the Father. And of the Son. And at the sign of the Holy Ghost. And at the Holy Ghost, he told him, go do it. Go do it. Well, we all can bear witness. They obeyed him. That's right. He was put to death in the flesh, quickened by the Spirit. Blessed be the name of God. Rose the third day. And before he ascended above all heavens, he stayed around here. Yeah. Gave them some more teaching. Oh, yes. Told them that repentance and remission, and remission of sins should, should be, be preached in his this name. This is the book of Luke. St. Luke chapter 24 and verse 47. Says what? And that repentance. Look at what he told his apostles. Amen. That repentance. And remission of sins. And remission. Remission means removing. Should be. Removing of your sins. Should be preached. How? In his name. Who? In his name. Preach it how? In his name. Where? Among all nations be what, 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 what? Among Te all where? nations. Teach it where? Among all nations. <laughs> where are we going to start at? Beginning at Jerusalem. All right, let's go right to Jerusalem. Acts chapter let's 2. Let's go right to Jerusalem. That's right. Where the thing was preached at. That's right. Listen at this and follow me. Acts chapter 2 and verse 38. Follow me in your Bible. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Here it is. Amen. Peter said what? Then Peter said unto them, repent. Peter ain't tell them to do what your bishop told you to do. No. Bow your head and raise your hand. Accept Christ as your personal savior. Touch the television and let the Lord come in your heart. You ain't That's got right. nothing but a warm hand or electric shock. <laughs> That's right. Bow your head and raise your hand. Accept Christ right where you are. Right where you Bible are. ain't never taught that foolishness. No. Pray some sinner's prayer and you hold the hand of some fake preacher. <laughs> or you watch him on television and he tell you, repeat after me. Lord Jesus, mm -hmm. I'm a sinner. I've done bad things. <laughs> Cleanse me. Cleanse me. Wash me. Wash me. White as snow. Come in my heart. Mm -hmm. Purify me. And the preacher said, friends, if you said those words, you're saved now. You no more saved than a smoking duck. That's right. No such salvation. That goes for if there's any preacher here that's preaching that stuff. You're a liar. That's right. You're a Pittsburgh liar. That's right. And I ain't going behind your back. I'm going to tell you to your face while I'm here. Amen. You's a liar. That's a liar. You couldn't stand behind that fake religion if I was going to put you in an electric chair. Amen. You would just walk the green mile and burn. That's right. Do you hear it? Then Peter said unto them, repent. Any preacher in Pittsburgh that baptized anybody mm -hmm. using the words Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, you are still a sinner. That's right. Including your pastor. That's right. You are nothing but a sinner. Amen. Now imagine you're following a preacher imagine. who don't know how to baptize right. Mm. A bishop that don't know how to baptize. Your daddy. My Lord. Many of you faithful to these churches because the pastor is your relative. That's right. He's your uncle or he's your husband. That's right. Or he's your gambling grandpappy. Amen. I don't care who he is. No. You got to do it just like the word of God do it, said do it. And Peter on the day of Pentecost received the keys of the kingdom of heaven from Jesus. That's right. Jesus said upon this rock I build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against him. 
Peter, I give you the keys. Whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever shall be loose on earth shall be loose in heaven. That's right. Peter, on the day of Pentecost, stood up with the apostles after the Holy Ghost fell. Thank God he hit the earth, and he stood up with the eleven. That's right. And he declared what? Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Repent. And be baptized. His prayer. That's it. Repent. 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 Not bow your head or raise your hand and claim you're a Christian. No. Where you get that fake man-made dry clean stuff from? Amen. Don't you know when you got your head down and hand up, you being robbed? Yeah. Ain't you caught on yet? That's right. The apostles, Jesus, none of them told you to do that. No. But because you was led wrong and taught wrong. That's it. These old money loving, stealing things that tell you anything mm. to get rich. That's right. Can you say God is using him? The devil out of hell is using him. Amen. Listen at this. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Repent, repent, I, repent. repent. See, God want to repent in people. Repent. A people felt sorry about doing wrong. That's right. People that want change in their life. That's right. Not some people that claim they're Christian with a cigar in your mouth. That's right. A pipe in your mouth. Amen. Smoking weed for municipal purposes. Amen. <laughs> That's <laughs> you right. Get what I'm telling you. That's right. Amen. Amen. You, mun you municipal smokers. Mm -hmm. Amen. You smoke your weed and speak in tongue. You old hypocrite. That's a hypocrite. <laughs> That's right. Do you get what I'm telling you? Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Hear me, hear me, Bishop. You may not like the fact that Pastor Jen is here, but I'm here if you don't like it. I'm telling you, if you baptize Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, you're still a sinner. That's you're right. not a preacher. That goes forth. I got any preachers in the house. That's Bishop, right. elder, evangelist, deacon, pastor. Right. You're not a preacher. No. You're still a suit wearing, tie wearing, white shirt wearing sinner. Amen. With a Bible in your hand. That's right. Robbing the people you never even started. That's right. If any of you go to these churches that baptize Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, you go to nothing but a club. Amen. Tell your pastor I said so, because I'll be back. That's right. I'll be back. That's right. Oh, thank God I'll be back. Oh, yes. These preachers have baptized you wrong. Oh, yeah. Go to the Bible. That's it. What did Peter say? Peter said unto them, repent. You know what a fool would say? Mm -hmm. I'd rather obey Jesus. I'd rather obey Jesus. They know they obey the apostles. That's right. Your dumb thing, that's impossible. St. Luke chapter 10 and verse 16. You can't obey Jesus. Amen. Without obeying the apostles. That's right. Now let's get Bible for this. St. Luke chapter 10 and we're at verse 16. Follow me in the Bible. Saint Follow Luke. me in your Bible. Saint that's Luke. one thing our program is known for. Right. We give you Bible for everything. That's right. That's why I tell folk over the air, don't get mad at me. <laughs> Give chapter and verse. St. Luke. Uh, who, who, who? St. Luke. My name ain't Luke. No. No, it's not. Don't waste your time getting mad at me. You cannot obey Jesus right. without obeying his, his apostles. That's right. Impossible. Impossible. Listen at this. St. Luke chapter 10 and verse 16. Follow me. He that heareth you. Look at him talking to his apostles. He that heareth you. He that hear you. Heareth me. Oh, Jesus said you hear me. And he that despiseth you. If they despise you. Despiseth me. They despise me. And he that despiseth me. He that despise me. Despiseth him that sent me. And the one that sent that body or that flesh and blood into the world was the spirit of God. That's right. So here you baptized Father, Son, and Holy Ghost you are. You are. Look at what Peter said. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Repent. And be baptized be every baptized. one of you. How much? Every one of I you. I got everybody in Pittsburgh. Every church might as well padlock their doors. That's or right. open them so folks can be baptized. That's right. That goes for you too, Bishop. I don't That's care right. how long you've been pastoring. No. You can lead people to hell for 50 years. Oh, yes. We baptized a man. One of the ministers wrote, Text me so excited. They baptized a man last week, 101 years old. Wonderful. A hundred, he lived over a century to find out he was baptized wrong. Amen. All them years. All those years. Baptized wrong. My Lord. Who baptized wrong, Pastor Jennings? Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. The Catholics do it. Well, the Catholics don't baptize you. Not even half right. Not even half right. They take you to an upright toilet bowl That's and right. throw some water. The priest throws some water on you, and you ought to throw it back on him. That's right. Well, Pastor Jennings, you, it ain't no Bible said your whole body got to go in water. Give me the sixth chapter book of Romans. Romans chapter six, and we'll start it. I know some of you don't like the way I talk about religion. Who cares? <laughs> I don't care if you don't like it. You shouldn't be in what I'm talking about. That's right. Listen, what I'm talking here. Romans chapter six, we'll start at verse one. Listen. What shall we say then? What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Shall we continue in grace? That shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. God forbid. How shall we that, are, shall dead we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? No, you not. That so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ. What? Were baptized into his death. Tell us how we're baptized. Therefore, we are buried with him. No, 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 no. We are sprinkled with him like the Catholics. We are buried with him. No. We are sprinkled with him like the Episcopalian. We are buried with no. him. No. We are sprinkled with him like the Protestant. We are buried. No, no. Amen. We are sprinkled with him like the African Methodist Episcopal. We are buried. No. Amen. No. Amen. We are sprinkled with him. You see that? Mm-hmm. You see the Bible speak plain. We are buried with him. By baptism. By baptism. Into death. Into death. That like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father. What happened? Even so, we also should walk in newness Your of Your whole life. body got to go in water. That's right. Your whole body. Whole body. Very not your son's very. head, not your daughter's head. You bring your little children to some Catholic church and some up there getting baptized. That child don't know what he's doing. Mm-hmm. The Bible said repent. repent. How in the world a child going to repent for something they didn't do? That's right. The Bible says in Acts 38, and then, after that we're going to take a trail through the Bible mm-hmm. and see how every baptism was done in the Bible. Right. There's only three water baptisms in the Bible. That's right. Moses was baptized in the cloud in the sea. John the Baptist baptized unto repentance. That's right. Jesus' baptism is what Peter is preaching here now. That's right. Listen at this. Acts chapter 2 and verse 38. What? Then Peter said unto them, repent. Repent. And be baptized every one of you. How? In the name of Jesus Christ. That's the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. That's right. The name of Jesus Christ. For what? For the remission of sin. To get your sins washed away. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy now Ghost. Now we're going to take a trail through the Bible. That's right. And I- Pittsburgh, I want you to follow me mm-hmm. and see if you can find one person mm-hmm. that's baptized the way you are. That's right. Just one. Just one. Just one. One that's baptized Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Oh, it's just one. Right. Some folk get baptized Father, Son, and Holy Ghost are all in Jesus' name. Ain't no Bible say that. No. Some folks say they baptized Father, Son, and Holy Ghost upon the authority of Christ. Ain't no Bible said that. No, no. Just come on back to the Bible. That's right. And do it just like the Bible says it. That's right. All right, son. Now in Acts chapter 8, verses 15 and 16. Follow me. Who, when they would come down, prayed for them. Yes. That they might receive the Holy Ghost. Uh-huh. For as yet... Listen at this. For as, For yet, as yet, he was fallen upon none of the them. The Holy Ghost didn't fall on none of them yet. Only they were baptized. How? In the name of the Lord Jesus. Do you see that? That's right. There was baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus down in Samaria. That's right. Now some folks ask, well, can you receive the Holy Ghost first, first. before you baptize? Yes. Yes. Yes, you can. Give me the book of Acts of the Apostles. Acts chapter 10. We'll start reading verse, verse 44. 44. Acts chapter 10. And verse 44, these are for those that have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue before they're baptized right. Because right. some churches teach if you have the Holy Ghost, you don't have to be baptized at all. That's right. not what Jesus said. No. Jesus said, verily, verily, I say unto you, except a man here is born of the water and of the spirit. That's right. Water and spirit, he cannot enter in. That's right. When you're born of the water, you're baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. And when you're born of the spirit, you're filled with the spirit by the spirit speaking in tongue as the Spirit of God give utterance like they did on the day of Pentecost. That's it. All right, son. Acts chapter 10, we'll start at verse 44. What is it? While Peter yet spake these words. Hear this. Amen. While Peter yet spake the word, the Holy, the Holy Ghost, Ghost fell on, all fell on everybody heard the word. that heard the word. And they of the circumcision which believed were astonished. Yes. As many as came with Peter. What happened? Because that on the Gentiles also was poured out the gift of the Holy Ghost. How did they know it? For they heard them speak with tongues. Yes. And magnify God. Then what happened? Then answered Peter, can any man forbid water? That's what I'm asking you. Amen. 
Once save, always save, liars. That's right. Once save, always save. Can you imagine that fake teaching? Once save, always save. She's a liar. That's a liar. Ain't no Bible said that. No. Once save, always save. No. Can any man forbid order? That these should not be baptized. Yes. Which have received the Holy Ghost as well as he be. Yes. And he commanded them. No, he asked them. He commanded them. I ain't asking you nothing, Pittsburgh. That's right. Nothing. And he commanded them. I'm commanding them you, to, like the Bible says. And he commanded, he commanded them, them to be baptized. To be baptized. In the name of the Lord. All right, let's find out what the Lord's name. Acts chapter 9 and at verse 5. Listen at this. And he said, who, who art, art thou, Lord? Lord? The Lord said, I am Jesus. Do you see that? That's right. All right, give me the 19th now in chapter, chapter that. 19, and we'll start reading in verse I'm taking one. a trail and show you every place where baptism took place. That's right. Where the apostles baptized. That's right. Listen at this. Acts chapter 19, we'll start at verse 1. Yes. And it came to pass that while Apollos was at Corinth. Paul, passing through the upper coast, came to Ephesus. And finding certain disciples. He found those certain disciples were John disciples. He said unto them, what? have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? And? And they said unto him, we have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. What was the next question he asked? And he said unto them, unto what then were you baptized? All right, Pittsburgh, that's what I'm asking. How were you baptized? That's right. You're going to some church, jumping and shouting, holding your hands up, claiming you're praising the Lord. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> How were you baptized? Unto what then were ye baptized? How were you baptized? That's right. That's right. That's the question. That's the question. That's the question. You claim you Baptist and claim John was a Baptist, which is a lie out of hell. <laughs> John said, I'm not the light. I'm not the light. I come to bear witness of the light. That's right. And the one that he bear witness of was Jesus the Christ. That's right. Listen. And he said unto them, unto what then were ye baptized? How were you baptized, Pittsburgh? And they said unto John's baptism. Oh, we got John's baptism. Then said Paul, John verily baptized with the baptism of repentance. Yes. Saying unto the people that they should believe on him which should come after him. Who was that on? That is on Christ Jesus. What happened when they heard that truth? When they heard this, they were baptized. No, they got mad and got up and held their finger up in the air and walked out. When they heard this, they were baptized. No, they told Paul, I'm a Baptist born, I'm a Baptist gone, and I don't care what you say. When they heard this, they were baptized. No, they got mad and said, oh, Paul, well, my father was baptized, so I'm going to do it the way he done it. When, when they heard this, they were baptized. In the name of the Lord Jesus. And what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Being mad at Pastor Jennings ain't going to help you now. That's right. <laughs> huh? That's right. Being mad at me, riding back home, cussing and yelling, pulling your cigarettes out your glove compartment because you are a fake smoking Christian that ain't going to help you now. That's right. You step two inches in the kingdom. You're going to obey this first. Colossians chapter 3 and verse 17. What is it? And whatsoever you whatever. do. Whatever. Whatsoever you do. Whatever. Whatever. Wh and whatever. Whatsoever you do. What? In word. In word. Yeah. Whatever you do in word. Or deed. Or deed in action. Do all. How? In the name of the Lord Jesus. All right. Baptism is a deed. That's and right. baptism words are said. That's right. So if the Bible said whatsoever you do in word and deed, that means when that man take me down in the water, mm -hmm. whatever words he said, got to be said in what? In the name of the Lord Jesus. And when he performed the baptism, how must it be done? In the name of the Lord Jesus. Whatsoever you do. You see what these liars, they, they take your money in the name of the Lord Jesus. That's right. They tell you lies and hide behind the name of the Lord Jesus. That's right. They tell you everything under the sun that's wrong and that's put wrong. the name of the Lord Jesus in front of it. <laughs> that's right. Instead of baptism. That's right. Everybody that was baptized just in the titles, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, and not baptized Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ, you're still in sin tonight. Tonight. I don't care if you've been going to church 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 years. That's right. That's right. If your grandma's still living, Amen. while she got her shawl on her shoulders, mm -hmm. she's baptized wrong in a rocking chair. That's right. What? Whatsoever you do in whatever, word, whatsoever. This got your pastor. Oh, yes. Go back home and call him tonight. Amen. Tell him, Bishop, Amen. you baptized me wrong. Click. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you liar, you baptized me wrong. That's right. <laughs> What did he say here? And whatsoever ye do. Whatever, whatever, whatever. It's what? in your Bible. Yeah. 
Colossians 3 and verse 17. It's in your Bible. That's the right. word of God says what? And whatsoever you do. Whatever you do. In word. In word. Or deed. Or deed. Do all. How? In the name of the Lord Jesus. Baptism. Do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Prayer. Do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Do all. Amen. How in the world can you get around this? That's right. Who can change this? Who, Who would change? try to change it but a hypocrite? That's right. The way you baptize Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, nobody done it that way. Nobody. nobody. No one. There's not a man in Pittsburgh say Jesus baptized that way. No. Jesus said, go do it in the name of. Name of. The Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Do it in the name of it. Oh, that's it. And the apostles understood it because the Bible says then open he their understanding. Understand. Thank God that they might understand the scriptures and they went on their way. Yes, they did. After he ascended above all heavens That's right. and gave them the commission, That's right. they went on their way. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Repent. And Pittsburgh, 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 old, middle-aged, and young. That's right. You might as well come out the church you in. That's These it. old false churches in the still city. Amen. Go ahead. False churches. Go ahead. Go ahead. Baptist, Methodist, Presbyterian, Lutheran, Catholic, non-denominational, Pentecostal, Apostolic. You can't find none of that stuff in the Bible, you bunch of liars. That's right. It's a Pittsburgh, the Pittsburgh liars. That's right. The preachers lie to you. They know that stuff is not in the Bible. Mm -hmm. They ain't going to tell you because you keep giving them money. Amen. Let them go get a choke sandwich like you. <laughs> Peanut butter and good old jelly. <laughs> That's right. Hey Amen. Right. When I was coming up sometime, we ate banana sandwiches. Mm -hmm. Amen. They was good too, brother. <laughs> Amen. Tell you, give your preacher a banana sandwich. Amen. <laughs> Got to lay that caviar and wine down. That's right. Amen. That's right. The Bible says what? Then Peter said That's why the preachers don't like me, because I don't bite my tongue. No, you don't. I mean, I don't bite my tongue. I'm a working man. Amen. No board of directors hired me and they can't fire me. No. I work and take care of my family so I can preach loud as I want. <laughs> That's right. Hey, man, these preachers can't preach loud because they're getting paid. Yeah. That's, right. That's why they tip very light. Mm -hmm. right. They tell you, ain't God good. <laughs> <laughs> ain't God good. <laughs> hey, I'm a working man. Roll my sleeves up and go bare knuckle with you with the Bible. That's right. Are you getting what I'm talking? That's right. That's why I can hit you hard as I want and don't care two cents if you don't like it. Amen. You got to obey it or in hell you're going to lift up your eyes. Amen. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Some folks say, hey, I agree with what he said, but it's the way he said, oh, man up. <laughs> right. A real man ain't got no problem with the way I sound. Oh, sissy acting men generation today. Go ahead, if you stop trying to walk and talk like a woman, you wouldn't have no problem with the way I sound. Right. Am I right, I said? Go ahead, Jeff, God. Amen. You hear him all over social media. Grown men. I don't Grown like men. the way he sounds. Too bad. <laughs> they want these old sugar daddy preachers. That's right. Old pimp preachers just pat you on the back. Ain't the Lord good? I'm telling you, church, God is love. It's heaven or hell. That's you it. either right or wrong. That's right. You want sugar? You came to the wrong church. Amen. Because Jesus said salt is good. Salt is good. Salt is good. And if the salt loses savior, where is shall it be seasoned? I'm a salty preacher. A salty preacher. Amen. That's right. And I'm going to sprinkle your soul with Bible salt until your pressure go through the roof. That's right. That's right. <laughs> huh? That's right. Amen. You see, That's they don't right. want me to use too much Bible. <laughs> That's right. they, they don't want me to use too much Bible. They say that's, that's too much salt. Too much salt. Too pressure much salt. going up. That's right. Now I'm going to bury you with salt. Oh, yes. Till your pressure go up until you stagger to the pool. That's it. And be baptized in the water. That's right. Huh? That's it. Come on, son. Then Pete, back in Acts chapter 2 and verse 38. What is it? Then Peter said unto them, repent. All right, Pittsburgh. God bless your hell-bound, wicked Pittsburgh heart. Amen. You better take this gospel while we're here. 
Oh, yes. Yeah, man, we we'll believe we'll be here tomorrow. We'll be back in Philadelphia. You that are watching in the Philadelphia area, I'll be in headquarters. I'll be at HQ next week, God willing. Amen. We got to that. I think I'll be somewhere else. Mm -hmm. We're scheduled to be in uh, Memphis, Tennessee. I'll be in uh, Greenville. I believe that's North Carolina or South Carolina. Mm -hmm. Colorado, God willing, Denver. We coming in your area. Amen. I believe, uh, what is that? No, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Wonderful. I've been in your area, Berlin, Germany. We there, we be parachuting it from the air. Amen. We be um, storming the beach with Bible. <laughs> That's right. From there, we have been in West Africa to the country of Malawi. Then from there, we go to Mozambique, and then we come home and take a rest before we go to the Caribbean Wonderful. and do the same thing. Same thing. Amen. We are not playing. And think about it. We are not getting paid. No. All this traveling we doing, we're not getting paid doing this. Oh no. No, we're not getting paid, paid preaching the gospel. No. No man should get paid for preaching the gospel. That's right. Not one. Not one. You ain't paid Jesus. Why should you pay yourself? That's right. And Jesus told more truth than any of these men put together. Oh, yes. Amen. He come along and died so you can be right. That's it. Amen. Anybody here today, Pittsburgh, that want to be Bible right, want to get a right Bible baptism, in the name of Jesus Christ, stand on your feet if you want it, Pittsburgh. Stand on your feet if you want it. Amen. Isn't that wonderful? All of you that are standing, go over there where you see the brothers and sisters are. All of you that are standing, march over there. All of you that are standing. Well, we got a new church for Pittsburgh already. Huh? Amen. We got a new Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania congregation already. Amen. Got to have it. Got to have it Bible right. If you don't have it Bible right, you got it wrong. All of you go over there. Get ready for baptism. <laughs> Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. These are the works of the apostles. That's right. I don't care who ate it. Brother, these are the works of the apostles. Amen. This is not being done, as I often say, nowhere in the world today Lord on Lord. this manner. Mm. There's not one preacher that God is using mm. in the world today Hallelujah. in this manner. That's right. It's a blessing. That's right. This is what they call a revolution. Oh, yes. Amen. And God brings a revolution. So with the help of God, as other places, we're looking to open up a church here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I'm looking to do that. There are so many places where I have to open up churches. I have to open up in Pittsburgh. I have to open up in St. Louis. I have to open up in uh, Milwaukee. I have to open up in Cincinnati. I have to open up in Cleveland and Springfield and Missouri and, and so many places. I have to do this. That's right. I ha I'm forced to do it. Forced to do it. Everywhere. That's right. I have to open up in Boston, Seattle, Washington, and Portland, Oregon, all through the state of California, all through Texas, all through Mexico, all through South Hallelujah. America. I have that to do. Hallelujah. And man, one thing about it, they got a preacher who's not stealing a dime from the people. That's right. That's a rarity today. Oh, yes. Because most of these men, they are thieves. Oh, yes. Amen. We use the money for the Lord's work. That's right. But all these thousands and thousands of people that's being waked up now, Hey Amen. I have to open up temples. That's why we set up an expansion program. Yeah. And we thank God for you, brothers and sisters, that have cooperated. But there are thousands that have it, and we need you to work on this program because there's churches we got to get. Oh yes. There are churches we got to get uh, for the souls of the people. Look at it. That's the whole congregation. <laughs> and that's the whole congregation. Most men have never get that much in 50 years. That's true. That's true. That's the truth of it. That's the truth of it. Everybody got to repent and be baptized. Every I was one preaching of the word of God, I believe it was last year when I did a European tour. 
and my last stop was Italy. And a man got up and testified. He was so happy. We was in Italy. He cried like a baby. He said in his testimony, he waited seven years, mm. seven years for us to come in Italy just to baptize him. Wonderful. Seven years. Another man stood up and said, I waited five years wonderful, wonderful. just to go down the water. You know, people really want to be right today. Right. They're tired of these lies right. and this fake religion. Glory to God, this thing is worth going to the ends of the earth for. That's right. You remember what the Lord says in Leviticus 19 and 1? And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Said what? Speak unto all the congregation of the children of Israel. And say unto them, ye shall be holy. Now, viewers, get this. He said, be holy. For I, the Lord your God, am holy. That Lord God, Jesus Christ, was he? That's right. Huh? That's right. The Bible said, know ye the Lord, that he is God. He is God. Jesus died and rose from the dead, and Thomas said to him, my Lord. And my God. And my God. For I, the Lord your for God. For I, the Lord your God. Am holy. He's what? Holy. Did you hear that? That's right. That's what the world got to be. Everything that's not holy might as well padlock the doors of your church and get a bulldozer and knock it down while the preacher's in the pulpit. <laughs> that's right. Don't wait till he leaves. Knock it down while he's in there. That's it. Amen. Let him run for the hills. That's right. That's where his help come from. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> All right. We thank God for you, Pittsburgh. All of these to be baptized tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, I don't. Do I have any of my baptizers here? Where are they at? They went back already? All right, Deacon Parker is there. I thought I would have to do it myself because if I had to, I'd roll up my sleeves as tired as I am because I baptized thousands. Amen. Amen. But uh, we have brothers now that are working with us. Thank God for that. Amen. <laughs> and that have baptized them. Hallelujah. I was looking around. I didn't see them. I was, I was, I was making myself ready. <laughs> Pass up your position. You don't gave enough money to your boss church. You don't sung on a choir long enough. Played the organ, played the drums, played the guitar, played the bass, and played the devil. <laughs> you done done so much playing all these years. It's time to take advantage of God's way and walk according. We'll be back here tomorrow. Service begin at 11 o'clock, then again at 5. After that, we are flying back to Philadelphia and uh, try to get some rest. We have a lot of work to do. We hope to see you in Philadelphia at the headquarters temple, God willing, then Philadelphia this Sunday coming. All right, let us all stand. Under him that is able to keep you from falling and present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to him be glory and power both now and forever. Brothers and sisters, say amen.